Let me ask you this. Pastor Rob Bell is talking about love. He said that God is love, and God sent Jesus to show us this love. Um, do you do you agree with that, that God sent Jesus to show us love? Well, yeah, I mean, that, that, that's the perfect example of, of just the nit, it, just a portion of what the Word uh, is trying to convey across the believers. And let me ask, and, uh, do you believe that God is love? I think he is. From from what I understand, he is. But also, uh, and and what it, when you say when you say God is love as a Christian, what is love? I think love is, is if if I read my Bible right, uh, the example that Jesus Christ set for us. He showed what love is: giving, caring, un, you know, not selfish, uh, and all the other accolades that go inside with. A perfect example of not loving yourself more than you love your brother and, and, and all this other good stuff. So, and, I mean, and, he um, only gave a part of the example. And uh, you, as a Christian, are you of love as well? Well, you know, I try to be. It, it's not always easy, but I, I try to be. I try to I try to treat people the way I want to be treated. Uh, I even love people who don't like me at all. So, you know, so I won't carry that around in my heart and become a prisoner within myself. I try to present uh, and show people that this is what it's all about. Are, are there times caring. when you are not of love? I, I, I would say that. I, I would say that most Christians are not 100% up under the love belt all the time. That's why we constantly need a refreshing you know, of our of the Lord's perspective of where we're supposed to be at. And so there and, are times, you know, though, when you are not of love. As a Christian, there are times when, when you, Clifford, uh, you are not of love, right? I think so. So I love love comes and goes for you. I think that's possible. Okay. Well, first of all, I want to, and, and I appreciate your honesty because for a long time I was the same way and I understand what you mean. I, I thought I knew what love was. Uh -huh. Before God really showed me love. First of all, love is just simply not hating. When you don't have That's anger, right. That's right. when you don't have anger in your heart at all, then you have love. And then love is not something that comes and go. Either you have it okay. or you don't okay. have it. Gotcha. And once you really enter, once you let that hatred go, that anger go, which is the nature of Satan. You will have love, and you can't go in and out of it. You're born into love. It's your new nature. And once you have that, it is that. You can never get away from that. So there's no such thing as having it and not having it. Either you have it or you don't have it. And the way that you get it is to realize, without excuses, realize that you don't have it. And, okay. and, and once you let that anger go by forgiving others, God will forgive you, and then you will have love, and you're locked in, and you can't get out of it. Do you have anger at times? No, I, I don't have. I don't have anger. I don't consider myself uh, anger. I consider myself pretty much mild mannered, level headed, free, independent thinking person. So. Then what causes uh, you to not love certain people at times? And I, I wouldn't really, uh, man. Yeah. I, well, I, I don't <laughs> want to contradict myself, but I, I really don't want to say that I don't love people. Well, and, you, and like I said, if I can categorize, backstep a little bit, I think we're all faced with challenging situations at time, and it does entail a bit of uh, posture to maintain a certain uh, level of thinking if you're trying to be level-headed. Well, let me because, be at let me let me tell you this because I can tell that you mean well, and you definitely want what's right. It appears. That's but right. the one thing I want to tell you is that once you truly have what love really is, and only God can cause that to happen in your life by you realizing that right. you really don't have it, he will allow you to enter into his love. And in his love, there is no anger. There is nothing but patience. You're able to speak up and not resent. And it doesn't matter what the challenge is or what the situation is. In his love, you're able to overcome it because you never overreact to it because you don't have anger. And anger is of the nature of Satan. Uh, anyone who is angry is of their father, the devil. And so, b b and that anger separates you from God. You can never, and you will never ever enter into the kingdom of heaven within as long as you have anger because it's evil. And so, when, well, you, well, can, I, I don't have that, when so. you can realize, when you can realize that you, 
you're impatient at time or you do, there are certain situations that can get the best of you or cause you to react when you can realize that that is anger and, and, and know your heart that is wrong, then God will change it and then he will give you his yeah. love. Yeah. All right. I appreciate that, Mr. Jesse. <laughs> I really do. And by the way, uh, I'm looking forward to our new president, whoever that is. I am too, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Clifford. Back in a moment, folks. Baby, you're just wasting your time because I'm not changing my mind. Can't stop the day you come. I've come to understand anger over the last 22 years or so because I had to overcome it myself. But from counseling with people, it's just been amazing. The primary problem, a relationship or individual life, whether it's a marriage or a friendship, is anger. When you have anger, you cannot see how to deal with the situation because you're operating out of darkness. And that anger tends to cause you to make all the wrong decisions. How would you like to find a way to overcome your most personal problems? If you're ready, we can help. Let the professional counseling services of Bond, the brotherhood organization of a new destiny, help you conquer your most serious problems right now. Call 1-800-411-2663 to make your appointment today. 